What kind of weather do you not like? I'm going to use you as my example person today. What oh. weather? You don't like cold weather? You live in the Czech Republic. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Good answer. <laughs> Okay, you guys, here we go. Vocabulary time. Pretty much the same. Tolerate, stand, endure. Vicky cannot endure the cold weather, so she came to America and LA where the weather is better. Resist also? Um, yeah, she, well, there's one problem with this, okay? I'm gonna show you what I mean here. What is this? Because if you, resist is very similar, but I wanna show you how when you use it, you may have heard it being used in a different way. How about this? Uh, Kyle cannot resist Pizza. Ah, <laughs> uh, now you see the difference, right? You see the difference? Up there, it's not a good thing. But down here, man, I want that pizza. See the slight difference? Cool. Okay. Everybody, good job. Stay strong. Let's take our 15-minute break and give our money to Starbucks Incorporated. <laughs> Let's help them build their empire so they can take over the world. Okay? You gotta take a 15 minute break, relax. Go, move, move. No, we did practice a lot of speaking yesterday, I understand that. So uh, we're gonna do a reading focus and uh, we'll probably have about 45 minutes near the end of class and then uh, we'll do our speaking practice and get comfortable, okay? But let's uh, go on to the reading. Um, so, uh, let's see. First, um, let's just quickly talk about the question we're doing this week. Here's what's gonna happen. Um, we're gonna do a little bit more exercises from the question that we started yesterday, okay? Then, we're going to do in our book, it's called Quiz 2, okay? And I like that because on that quiz, we're going to do referent questions, detail, negative detail. All the three that we have practiced so far this term. So, let's start with that referent question really quick first, okay? Remember what we're doing here. We get something like this, okay? Reading section, referent question, okay? So, you know that it's a referent question because you see this word. The question asks you, let's say something like this, uh, the word uh, this refers to <coughs> dot, dot, dot. and then you have A, B, C, D, and that's what they want. You see this and you see this, you know, okay, I'm dealing with a reference question. Now, um, I think we remember our process, but uh, let's still review it anyways. So, you go to your reading passage and you find the word this, okay? Let's say here is our sentence, da, 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 da. we find the word this and we're good. Now, uh, this was important because uh, Seven asked me about this yesterday. Seven said, how many sentences do I need to read? And I told him, if you've got a very long sentence and the word this is in the middle or in the end, this is the only sentence you need to read, okay? But if you have a sentence like Let's say you got this, and this is your first word, or it's in the beginning, then yeah, you will have to read two sentences to figure this out, okay? But something like this, you'll probably only need one sentence, and I think you'll be okay. okay now, let's review our process yesterday. Um, I told you again, if it's very easy, you don't need the process. But when it's really hard, the process will save you. So let's go through it. You see something like this, you notice that it's singular, right? Okay, so what you do is you go back. Okay, you go back this direction and you try to find it. Okay, how many singular nouns can fit here? 
and then you look for them. Okay, that one works, that one works, and okay, maybe it's this one too. Then you take those, you go to your answer choices, A, B, C, D, and you look for these. Okay, that one's there, so maybe it's this. Okay, I see that one. Uh, triangle? Oh, there's no triangle, so I'm not going to worry about it. So now, you only have two more answers. Then you take those two answers, you put them in here, and then you read again. Okay? So that's step one, find these. Step two, look at your answers and compare. Step three, put it in and read it one more time. Okay? We talked about this yesterday. We were very careful, very complete. You guys know this stuff. Okay? Remember I told you? Two other things that can help you, right? First of all, pay attention to your grammar, because we saw yesterday that grammar can save us, okay? Um, and I also told you yesterday, look for attached words. So for example, if they give you something like this event, so when you look back, you're thinking about events, right? And I also told you to look at attached phrases. So if you have something like, it is a useful resource, then when you're looking for your it's and you go back, you're thinking about this. It has to be a useful resource. You're thinking about that. Anything I choose has got to be useful resource. You remember this yesterday, right? Okay. We talked about this yesterday very deeply, so now we just got to practice it more, and then I want to do quiz number two, and I want to look at all three questions that we did week one and week two, okay? So, let's get started. Um, first of all, let's take a look. I want you guys to open up your books, okay? We might move just a little bit fast today because I want to get a lot of work done. I want you guys to go to page 51. Get done. 